is the 2009 Chalet um, LTW. On the tongue here, the propane tank, marine battery, and the newly installed air conditioner. LG brand kill switch for the battery so that if it's popped up and it's drawing battery power, you can turn that off to conserve battery energy. A solar panel connection. That little uh, plug there is to connect the battery to a solar panel. Bubble levelers to ensure that it's uh, leveled when you're actually deploying it. For your turn signal, a connection here for a television antenna, storage compartment has a key to it. I've already left it unlocked, but in here you can access the back of the furnace powered by the propane tank. And this is where I store um, this contraption. There's one on each corner. of the trailer and uh, I do have some um, blocks that you would put underneath but I'm just showing you how this functions here and you would use that if you're in an area where you need to stabilize and level the trailer on uneven ground or even if you're just using it, I currently just have it parked. The fresh water hose is connected and that will go directly into the sink on the interior. And I've currently got um, this portable gray water tank hooked up as well for any water that drains out. Your heater vent underneath those two um, water connections. I've just recently installed a light like this on each side. Here, this is the um, 30 amp wire. I've um, pulled it out. You can see how long it is. It extends pretty far. All terrain, off road, high uh, tires, brake light, and that functions off of your vehicle, your tow vehicle. Put water into the 15 gallon water tank overfill valve. If you fill up the water tank too much, that will uh, release some of the extra water. Here's the back of it with your brake lights and mud flaps. And here's the side that you get in to the trailer on. This is how you actually pop up the camper. back here. Um, I'll also point out you've got a couple of exterior outlets here and this is the other light that I was mentioning that I just had installed, the solar powered one. This one was already um, that came with the trailer and I've replaced the bulb so now it's brighter than it was before. <laughs> What it looks like on the inside after it's been deployed. This is currently set up as a bed but it becomes a dinette table. There's a speaker on each side and some outlets and 
these lights work. We got some more windows on this side and the windows do open and you've got um, a screen there to prevent bugs from coming in. <laughs> Same thing on this side, you've got this portion that opens. You've also got some storage here, the newly installed air conditioner, the heater, your radio with a CD DVD player, some more outlets, a newly installed mini fridge. cooktop with these flaps to help protect your bed and the top of your cabinet from getting grease everywhere. Here's this functioning sink. So underneath that cushion you've got some storage down here. Okay, so this is how you turn the bed into the dinette. Actually, underneath this cushion, it says this is not a storage compartment because it's got a number of systems down here. That tube at the back goes to your water tank, and you can see the edge of the water tank right there. That's your water pump. Here is a part of your heater. And this is the, uh, right here, your thermostat for the heater. And you've got a gas detector. And up there you've got a uh, CO2 smoke detector, a, a ceiling fan that can either pull air in or suck it out. On this side you've just got a, a skylight. Another light right here and another table that you can remove next to that same storage compartment that I mentioned earlier. Coming down here underneath this table, you've got another compartment. This white plastic box, which is your fresh water tank. 15 gallons. 